right guys so what's up it's your boy F Twilight so today we got some new information about Tekken 7 as some of you guys probably know some of you guys probably don't but the first bit of news that we got is that we will be getting Kunimitsu so was it Ayane was it Kunimitsu was it a curveball character no 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 it's Kunimitsu so a lot of people thought this um, I, I actually thought they was going to do the curveball and throw Ayane in, but Kunimitsu is cool. You know, still a ninja. You know, I like ninjas. You like ninjas. We all like ninjas, right? So, we got Kunimitsu. And this Kunimitsu is actually the daughter of the original Kunimitsu. So, they're trying to expand that storyline of the Kunimitsu. And here's the new one. See what she looks like. You know, fighting Yoshimitsu, fighting Master Raven, you know, the ninja fight, <laughs> Naruto style, you know. So, I I never played Kunimitsu. So, I don't know what's different, what's the same. I have no idea. Like, as far as moveset-wise goes, like, you can see gameplay here. I, I don't know how she played. I never used her. But I'm interested to try her, so I'll give her a shot. But... If you want like an in-depth analysis on Kunimitsu and Tekken Tag 2 to Kunimitsu and Tekken 7, this is not the channel for that. This is just an overview of everything. So I'm just here to tell you, we got Kunimitsu, and uh, yeah, she looks good. They say you can wear her new clothes, obviously, and they also have the original skin, her mom, if you will. They have her mom's outfit, so we can use both. And I think you could take the mask off. But she's going to take her mask off, and you can see her face anyway. She's apparently blind. So, this is the trailer here for Kunimitsu. And yeah, she looks good, and she sounds good as well. Now, will she be good? Yeah, that's another discussion, right? <laughs> we can't say for sure. But I am excited. So, there we go. New character, Kunimitsu. And with Kunimitsu, we are also going to get her stage, Vermilion Gates. Another big point here is that this is all free. So this everything that I'm about to talk about in this season pass update is all free, which is great news for us, right? We love free. So another thing to take note of is that we're getting another character in another stage. So who do you think that's going to be? So let me know in the comments who you think the new character is going to be. I take a bet on Jun this time, or June this time. Alright, so guys, one of the next key aspects is the online netcode. So, what they're saying is they're working on two main elements to the netcode. They want to add a Wi-Fi indicator so you can know who's on Wi-Fi and who's not, which is great, like, because I'm not trying to play nobody on Wi-Fi. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I live in Japan, and I'm not trying to play on Wi-Fi still, so I can imagine how you guys feel in the States, you know? When I was in the States, back at home, I definitely had me a wire. And you need to go get a wire if you're watching this and you don't got a wire. Stop making online bad, all right? It's your fault. So go get a wire. So if not, now we don't have to play you. So they got a Wi-Fi indicator. And then they're apparently working on, like, a, the rollback system for Tekken. They say it implements rollback already, but, you know. <laughs> Net codes are tricky. So apparently, Markman and Anakin were part of the testing team. And, you know, they made some claims that it was pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to get my hopes up on this part. But I can just hope that what they're saying, you know, actually is true, right? And I live in Japan, so my net code you know, is a bit better than the average, you know, player, right? But, obviously, I'd rather it be buttery smooth. So, I'm hoping that works, but the Wi-Fi indicator will work. Because I do get laggy matches over here, too. And a better net code means more players, which means a bigger scene, which means more challenge. You know, more, more of a challenge, you know, more players. It's, it's just funner, you know, more fun. Um... 
So hopefully that works out. That was that was that was the main point. <laughs> they trying to you know get people off of Wi-Fi, get people more towards wiring wired. And if you're not on Wi-Fi, I mean, if you are on Wi-Fi, we're gonna know and we don't have to deal with you. <laughs> so that was that point. All right. So the next aspect of this update they were talking about besides free additions to the netcode which is going to be the Wi-Fi uh, indicator and apparently just an overall better netcode is going to be the overall balance of the game you know every character is going to get new moves so uh, hopefully these new moves are useful and don't break the game or any of the characters and the thing that I like the most is that they acknowledge because the thing I wasn't enjoying about Tekken was the fact that it was like one touch, take you to the wall, and then that mix up at the wall, you get hit again, basically game over, right? So it's just like two touches, you're done. You're fighting Akuma, you got bar, one touch, you're done. Geese, one touch, you're done. Paul got rage, one touch, you're done. To me, to me, I've never been a fan of like these one touch games where it's just like, Boom, I touched you. Game over. So, you know, that takes away, like, the fighting the fighting element of it, at least for me. I don't know about you guys. Let me know what you think about that, how you feel about uh, one-touch kills or, like, losing 50% off of one touch. You know, that's not my thing, though, so I want to hear your opinion. So they, they understand this. So one thing, apparently, they're doing is raising the health bars. So you see right there, increasing the health bars. So I think this is a good idea. Um, more health means you can survive more, you can fight longer, and, you know, you don't feel as oppressed, you know, where it's like, oh, man, I got touched by Akuma, it's over. No, nah, no, nah, I got touched by Akuma, but I still got life, and I can still, you know, I still have a chance. Because they was talking about, like, you know, a lower life bar, closes the gap of fighting games, right? Because the better player is going to win in a longer, the more drawn out a match is, the higher the chance that a better player is going to win. So my thing is, though, if if this person is practicing more than me, they deserve to win. Like, that's real life. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> if you work 12 hours and I work two hours, and we both in the same kind of like regular nine to five company. My check and your check should not be the same. And I feel like it's the same in fighting games. If you're not gonna practice as much as I do, you shouldn't just you shouldn't be able to beat me unless you just like really super skilled, right? Like you just got that much talent. But you shouldn't mitigate or diminish my work. Like the game developer shouldn't diminish my work. Because they want other people that don't want to play as much as me or train as hard as me to be able to beat me. It doesn't make sense to me. You know, but I mean, I understand that's that's where we at, right? But so I'm, I'm happy about the longer life bars. If they're going to keep like the same kind of, you know, one touch, take you to the wall, one mix up kind of system. Because it's, you know, you probably guys, you guys probably seen on Twitter, it's been kind of OD, right? And then, just if you play the game, you don't even need to watch Twitter. Actually, play the game, and you'll feel it. <laughs> Kazumi, uh, Paul, uh, Lee, Julia, especially. Like, just play the game, and you'll you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Geese, Akuma, you know, even Eliza. So I just feel like this is a good change. So they're increasing the life bars, and maybe they'll make adjustments to the characters. That, like, I don't know if they're going to do, like, an overall damage decrease kind of thing. Because they was also talking about balancing fun with, you know, with with balancing characters, right? So, my thing is, the, all the characters don't have to be the same. Obviously, some characters are just going to be better than another character. But, if the gap isn't so big, you know, where it's like, you just feel like, oh yeah, I can still do this. Then it's cool, right? In my opinion, you know, if if this character feels like S tier and this character is like A tier, no problem. 
even B tier, A tier, or B some B tier characters to S tier characters, depending on how S tier that character is, is okay. But when it's the big gap, because it's like, should I play, you know, like a character that doesn't really do so much damage? Or should I just pick a coin and just touch you once, <laughs> take you to the wall and kill you? Like it kind of invalidates the point. It's like, like in Grand Blue, if you ever, if you guys ever played Grand Blue, like freaking Grand was the Shoto character, but he was great at everything. There's really no reason to play another character when the best character has no weakness. Why would you play another character? So hopefully they could get this right. You know, like I got faith in them. They understand. That was the main thing I was I was concerned about. So they at least acknowledged that they understand that they understood like that concern and people that have that concern. So I'm happy. So everybody's gonna get a new move and they're gonna increase these life bars and you know hopefully it works out. So guys, let me know what you think about that. Okay, so with online being the topic of discussion, they also decided to add a brand new rank, which is Tekken God Omega or Tekken God Metsu. Um, and they also, from what I saw, they're going to reset the ranks as well. I'm not sure if you're going to go back down to beginner and it's going to be like a full reset or if they're going to, based off of your character rank, you'll go down to a certain level. But they're resetting rank to some extent. And then they added in, see, this new rank right here. So I feel like this is a good move as well to breathe life into the game again. Like now people will be back in ranked. And for me, I'm hyped because now if it is back to beginner, I get to fight against like, well, I'm assuming the high-level Japanese players to go back in the rank to get their ranks back. So I'm hoping that's the case. So I'm excited that they're doing the reset. It's pretty cool. My highest rank I made it to was uh, Fujin. So I never got the Tekken God Prime. But maybe I might get it before this comes out. Um, so, yeah. Rank reset. New highest rank. <laughs> I don't really kind of... I don't necessarily like the look of it. But, hey, whatever. Something to achieve, right? See, you'll restart based on your rank. So I don't know if you're going to go back down to beginner or they have a set uh, rank that you'll go down to based off the rank that you are now. But, you know, that's good. That's a, that's a good addition, I feel. So, um, so let me know your highest rank. And do you want the ranks to reset or do you want to keep what you have? This also is going to uh, get, like, the boosters and uh, pluggers and, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, and speaking of which, the next, uh, speaking of which, the rank matches are also a bit different, apparently. It's like, they want to create, more, like, a more a sense of pressure on you. So, what they did is they've, they've made, like, if you lose, like, consecutive matches, the third match, you lose a... a a big amount of points, you know, to give you, like, to put that pressure on you, like, oh, man, my back's to the wall, like, I really gotta, I gotta win, I gotta win, that kind of thing, so, that's also cool, I mean, just gotta get good, right, <laughs> so, I'm cool with all of this, this is, this is cool, this is a good, um, addition, so, let's aim for that Tekken God Omega, see, see if we can get it first, probably me, right, <laughs> then they elaborate more on the uh, Tekken prowess system so we can finally learn about so we can finally learn what this is about like the, the Tekken prowess system so as you see here four elements influenced uh, by uh, Tekken prowess is your highest on rank the total rank of all your characters your stats and then your number of matches um, so it gathers your data and it can tell you like how you achieve your rank with the character you're using at that time so let's say like me i'm a devil gen main so let's say i'm playing devil gen and i'm using kazuya or something now i can see 
you know, where you can see how good I actually am with the character that I'm using. Like, oh, he's just, you know, he's just playing around with this character. He's not his real character. So Tekken Prowess apparently can show you, you know, this kind of uh, thing. And if you play with more characters, you'll increase your Tekken Prowess all the way around. Uh, I mean, I guess that's fun for people that like to just character hop, but I don't really care to do this. So this doesn't really matter to me. But, you know, you get your stat. Like, the stats didn't really matter to me when they added in Season 3. Like, the A, the C, the S, S, you know, that didn't really do nothing to me. But, you know, it's fun to look at, I guess, right? So for me, I don't really care for this. But, you know, let me know what you think. How, how do you feel about it? It's not my thing. I don't really care. The next thing I would say, finally, is the release date is set for autumn of Japan time. And what does that mean? I don't know. Somebody told me that Japan winter starts in December. So, you know, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get it before December. That's, that's all we can hope. But, you know, if they, need it to, if they need more time to make sure it's good, then I'm cool with that. So, that's about everything. And also, they reached 6 million or more sales. So, congratulations to the team and congratulations to us. Thank all you guys for supporting Tekken, the game I love. So, you know, let's keep doing it. And hopefully, Season 4 is going to be better and breathe new life into the game. And get even more new players in. And, you know, stay safe from Corona, guys. And hopefully we can get back to offline events and I can meet um, you guys later. So, all right, that's the end of this video. That's everything you need to know so far. And they said Season 4 still has a couple of more things that they didn't announce. Like, obviously, we got the other character that's going to come. So, again, I think that's June. But we'll see. So, all right, guys, uh, take care. Catch you in the next one.